The Candy House, Hansel and Gretel's Sweet Escape. Hansel and Gretel were lost in the forest. They wandered for hours, trying to find their way back home. But the trees all looked the same, and the path they had taken was nowhere to be found. As they walked, their stomachs growled with hunger, and their throats were parched from thirst. Just when they thought they couldn't go on any longer, they stumbled upon a clearing. In the middle of the clearing stood a strange house, unlike any they had ever seen. It was made entirely of candy. The walls were made of gingerbread, the windows were lollipops, and the roof was decorated with icing and candy canes. Hansel and Gretel, forgetting their hunger and thirst, approached the house cautiously. As they got closer, they could smell the sweet scent of the candy wafting through the air. Without thinking, they each broke off a piece of the gingerbread wall and took a bite. It was the most delicious thing they had ever tasted. But their joy was short-lived, for out of the house stepped an old woman with a wicked smile. Ah, my little dears, she cackled. You've found my house, I see. Come inside, come inside, and I'll give you more sweets than you could ever imagine. Hansel and Gretel, still enticed by the sugary treats, followed the old woman into the house. But once inside, they realized the old woman's true intentions. She was a witch, and she had lured them into her home to fatten them up and eat them. Hansel and Gretel, realizing the danger they were in, knew they had to act fast. While the witch was busy preparing a pot to cook them in, Hansel and Gretel devised a plan. They waited until the witch was distracted, then pushed her into the pot and slammed the lid shut. With the witch defeated, Hansel and Gretel escaped from the candy house and began their journey home. Following the trail of breadcrumbs Hansel had dropped, eventually they found their way back to their village, where they were reunited with their father, who had been searching for them. From that day on, Hansel and Gretel never went hungry again. And though they never forgot the harrowing experience in the forest, they knew they were stronger for having survived it together.